Sorry about that. I was right there. I was shy. Kind of like how about I was shy, but I smell the cock and dots. Don't mind with the elder or pop the great men for the world. And their tight chasing that I can put them the truth to cut the four corners of the earth. To the fair power of how much I was shy to hope on it. And so long to the future to that is there that two names to the spirit. And who the world only called God is named Hollis. And who the world only called Jesus Christ named Hollis Shy. And then he really liked that consisted of those called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And those in line of descendants go back to the control of tribal Israel due to the gathering of the nations of the four corners of the earth. This is my hearty call for the great millstone, Los Angeles camp. Back on another lesson. I would not like to die, Lord willing. Lord willing, be edifying to the fear and power of the house I sound shy. My shin, I would cock a dash, which is the Holy Spirit. All right, I'm going to say, Twada Yahweh, Twada Yahweh Shai, because the Spirit of me to do this lesson. All right, it's uh, the enemy trying to come down like a flood or with great wrath because it's got but a short time. All right, you know, come down with everything. You know? With the, uh, with the uh, what you call it, super soldiers, all right, the robots, it's, all right, it's the robo dog. It's in a picture, it's a dog with a robot, it's a uh, robot dog, all right, because he's gonna bring out all his toys, all right, because it's gonna be ultimately the judgment of the Lord, all right. Judge to the Lord, he's come down on you, uh, two thirds, all right, in Negro, all right. It's he thought even the civil white right man is the Lord for the Lord, all right. Yeah, let's see, that's about that scripture. Psalm 17 and 13, Arise, O Lord, your how about shall shine, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy glory. Because that's the further proof that who the wicked is. He thought evil. Okay. Psalm oh, that other truth <coughs> This is Romans 13 and 4, for he is a minister of God, the Yahweh, to do the good. <coughs> for he is the minister of Yahweh to thee for good. But thou, but if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For let me see, start up. Uh, Every three for the ruler, all right, are not a terror to good work, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the thing. Why? Because who controlling the uh, the ruler right now? Eat or eat I mean, like the how about how shy is controlling. The uh the ruler, which is Ethel Eagle, all right, flip his tongue out some mouth. Like it. For the ruler or not a terror to good work, but to the evil, wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the thing. For he is the minister of good of the Howard to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, Be afraid, for he bears not the score in vain, for he is the minister of the hour to a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Alright? So he thought he was going to have great wrath. That's what's going to happen. going to execute what? The wrath, which is ultimately the wrath of the Lord, how much I'm shy. 
right, upon the wickedness of our people, all right, the truth of our people. So that's what, that him coming out of that great wrath is going to be uh, in total control of the Hobbit right? Okay, all right? You can eat all Edom to carry out the wrath of the Lord, all right? Let's go back. <coughs> okay, this is 12 and 12. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitant of the earth, and of the sea. Alright, this is you know, dwelling here on the earth. For the devil, alright, with the thought, you know, it come down unto you. Having great wrath, because he know that he had a short time. Why? Because his uh, his rulership is is, is uh is coming to an end, right? And he knows it, all right. And he knows that he's losing, all right. It's, it's, but he's gonna try to come out with everything, all right. To try to pull out the last thought, which is not gonna happen, okay. But he is going to kill a lot of you two-thirds, all right? Because all the things are right, designated to be killed that way, all right? Whether it's by the gun or whether it's by famine. All these things he thought he was going to come down with, all right? He's going to uh, cause a great famine, all right? Ultimately, the Lord, how about some trying to send the prayer to him to do that? I right, can remember he destroyed, he destroyed, all right. He destroyed of the house of Shai, all right. So he's gonna come down unto you having great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time, all right. So nope. Is it Jeremiah or Isaiah? Yeah, Isaiah 59 and 19. I Jeremiah, I mean, Isaiah 59 and 19. <clears throat> it's the. Those shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh, shall shine from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun, which is the east. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, that's the point right here. Alright, when the enemy shall come in, he's going to come in heavy. Alright, and what does the flood do? That water come in and take over everything. Alright, fill up the whole street, everything. So that's how he thought Edom was coming in, all right? That was the enemy, okay? It's gonna come in like that. And the fear of the Lord, how about shall shall lift up a standard against him, all right? Which is gonna be on the elect, right? With the spiritual power, all right? That's a topic for another video, all right? <coughs> it's what I focus on the fact that he thought coming in like a blur, all right? With that great wrath, all right? Because already established, all right, those that do evil, all right, the wrath is coming upon them. Okay? The two thirds are, 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 are going to get dealt with by the Heavenly Father. 
right? Why you found myself shy? Okay. And he's gonna use the dope on white man to go after your ass, all right? <clears throat> and he's trying to not be able to escape it. Oh no. So, uh, I had another scripture that was that, uh, oh, was it, uh, Luke? Yeah, Luke 19 and 43. So this happened already, all right, with the, with the Romans came down on, on Jerusalem, all right, 70 AD, all right, around that time period, all right. But it's going to happen again, okay? <clears throat> Actually, I'll, uh, Start at forty one. Yeah, starting at forty one. And when he let's talk about the Lord how shy. And when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying if thou had known, even now, at least in this, th at least in this thy day, the thing which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thy eye. For the days shall come upon thee, that thy enemies shall cast a trench about thee, and compass thee round, and keep thee in on every side. And that's what happened. All right, let's read the account of a Masada. All right, how they were uh, basically fenced in. All right, they couldn't get out. And a great famine that happened. All right, so they had started eating the leaves, the clothing, so, you know, that came from the animals. <coughs> and then they started eating each other. But they started eating their stuff from each other. So even cannibalism would be coming back. All right, look at this. It could be a great family, all right? And it could, in this time around, it could be a physical uh, fence around your house or neighborhood, or they could deadbolt your uh, door where you can't get out the house. Or they could just have it to where the grocery store and stuff could be closed down, all right? And that could be the modern-day uh, trench that could be cast upon you, where you're not going to be able to eat, Okay? It said that the enemy shall cast a trench about thee and compass thee round and keep thee in on every side. See that? And shall lay thee even with the ground and thy children were in thee and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. See? And I talk about the two thirds because we, the one third, were the elect. They know the time of the visitation of the Lord, all right? They know when he's coming back, all right? Because it's saying on the watch, proper time, and, um, you know, observing the sign of the time that we're in, okay? But to the rest, they, they're not doing that, okay? They're not doing that. Cause why? Because they, they don't believe that this thing's going to take place, all right? They don't consider it. All right, so just like the day of Noah, all right, they were eating and drinking and giving some marriage and knew not until the flood came. All right, so this time around, they're not going to know until they get caught unaware, all right, when Esau start coming down, all right, and start knocking your doors and start killing you or hauling you off to, to the concentration camps, all right, or uh, leave you there and starving you out. All right, so I forget how sharp it is with them ribs. All right, you're gonna get stuck here, and you're gonna, or you're gonna die by the famine, or you're gonna die by the gun. All right, either way, it's a hassle. Well, you're gonna come down with that that great wrath, and then come in like a flood. All right, for the judgment on you people. All right, and that's what's gonna happen to the two thirds of our people here. Okay, they're not considering the Lord. They're not considering what the what the men of the Lord will probably have to uh, warn them about. All right, because I thought they get warning of me. 
okay? But they haven't been persuaded, all right? But we did our part, all right? We did that Ethical chapter 3, all right? We, we warn you, and our brother talk for our hand, all right? Because the Lord, how shy is sooner, it's, it's, it's nearer and sooner than you believe, all right? So that's what I want.